They tortured him, they lynched him, and they butchered Sarabjit to death. Pakistan now has even the audacity of playing down its crime, calling it a mere scuffle that led to Sarabjit Singh's death. By saying so, Pakistan has once again proved that it is a nation that hides behind its crimes and tries to cover up its crimes with lies. It is high time that India forced Pakistan to take back its words and apologize to a grieving family waiting for Sarabjit to reach home. It is not a secret, neither a mystery, nor a jigsaw puzzle anymore. Pakistan has not only violated human rights time and again, but has constantly dared India. He was brutally attacked inside the Kot Lakhpat jail in Lahore, in presence of the jail authorities. And five days later, as Indian prisoner Sarabjit Singh succumbed to his injuries, Pakistan once again openly provoking us, terming the cold and calculated attack on an Indian citizen a scuffle. In the statement released by the Pakistan government hours after Sarabjit Singh's death, Pakistan clearly and openly daring to state that the Indian prisoner expired following injuries sustained during a scuffle with fellow inmates. Hindustani Kedi Sarabjit Singh ki jo maut vaqya hui aapko ilm hai ke wo jail mein chand kaidiyon ke jhagde ke natije mein zakhmi huye. It was Pakistan's responsibility to protect Sarabjit Singh. But instead, it completely ignored his warnings. Also, had the audacity to dismiss that brutal attack as a scuffle. I blame authorities, jail authorities. Uh, this is their negligence, rather criminal negligence, and they are responsible for that. Meanwhile, back home, Pakistan's actions and words only added to the anger, with the opposition lashing out at the Indian government for handling Pakistan's repeated acts of cowardice with kid gloves. And this is the government's government. It's so much more than the world in the world. This is its own number. I'm very pained about the gross indifference of the government of India. As one of our citizens once again falls prey to Pakistan's barbaric act, should the Indian government force Pakistan to take back the word scuffle from its press statement? Why should Pakistan be allowed to get away by saying Sarabjit was involved in fighting when he was murdered? Bureau Report, Times Now.